YouTube, man, what's going on? Selling H back with another vid. And today, man, Bronny just had two more recent games. You guys know we just talked about his debut just a few days ago. And I got to be honest, I was a little disappointed with how this dude was playing because, man, there are a lot of things he needs to improve on. But let's break it down, get right into him. And if you do like these type of vids, like the video. Now, if you guys have not been tuning in, Bronny actually just had, of course, his official debut, which I covered in a recent video. And then he just had two other recent recent games where they actually played San Isidro, Mikey Williams, old high school and another high school team. And man, to say the least, there are a lot of people that were criticizing Bronny. Now, number one, in a lot of these games, people even were pointing out that Bronny was not even starting. Now, of course, this is because he was coming off of an injury and actually has some type of minute restrictions, most likely due to that injury. Now, personally, it looked like he was moving out there pretty well, so I'm surprised he he still is one not starting and two on those minute restrictions but of course that really just depends on his overall situation if he still is partially injured or not you guys remember it was a meniscus tear that he did have and in this case that can take time to heal so i understand on one end of course you may not be moving the same but from what it looked like he was dunking the ball running up and down the court pretty well which more than likely probably is okay with his injury but again i am no medical professional now many people have been saying this for a while now that really just how Bronny was overall playing was a little bit passive and this was even before his injury you guys know that people have been saying this since day one this dude needs to take more shots and be more aggressive and then in my opinion when he really has a great opportunity to do so we didn't really see him put up that that many shots now in the first game he did have around 10 points and didn't play that much and I think that was a game where he played pretty well but the two most recent games man I don't know I think things were looking a little shaky now for one he definitely had good defense that is always there for sure he was blocking shots really playing well on his man not letting his men score and that's something that we already know he's known for and of course his passes as well we know he has the iq to be able to make those high level plays and get his teammates involved but at the end of the day when you're in high school you have to get yours and sometimes i am not seeing that now he definitely didn't put up too many shots and again the comment section was really flooded with this that he needs to be more selfish now, in my opinion, when Amari Bailey is not there, the game looked completely different. Now, you guys know Amari is really the top scorer on the team. He's the one that's going to put up a ton of shots. And in my opinion, when Bronny had the opportunity to do this, Amari, of course, is out because he had an injury. This should really be the time for Bronny to take a ton of shots, go out there and just put up whatever he wants and try to be the leading scorer of the team. And that did not happen whatsoever. It almost looked like a piece of the team was missing and you clearly saw how much of an impact Amari did make because man they were not looking the best without him and they really didn't have that scoring piece that guy that was just going to put up a ton of points for the team and they really needed it and personally I thought Bronny would have had a great opportunity and probably still has because Amari is still most likely going to be out to go out there and put up the ball and score a ton of points but man it again it seems like he's really being hesitant to shoot the ball and is doing a lot more passing not really even looking for his shot at times he did put up some and i gotta give him that i gotta give credit where it's due but he definitely needs to be way more aggressive for sure if he really wants to kill these overrated comments and the fact that he's just another james he is the son of lebron and that's the only reason why he has everything he has now, in the second game that they actually played, his team did lose. And Percy, I almost thought that sometimes Bronny really didn't even look like a factor on the court. Now, this is no hate for sure because I've been watching this dude for a minute now and have seen when he's really playing at his best, when he gets hot on the offensive end. And it's something about this Sierra Canyon team where I think this dude does not gel well on offense at all. We've seen in AAU, especially in EYBL, when it seemed like he was much more comfortable on the court, shooting his shot, doing his thing really going out there being aggressive and then in this game there's just something off about it where he's not really being as aggressive trying to put up the ball you know cross someone maybe do a one-on-one -on -one move he really is just looking to pass the ball and get an assist which is fine if he's that type of player but again at the high school level even dudes that play defense even in the nba that are known for locking up players were scoring a ton of points in high school and that's why i think it's so vital that again this type of aggression can translate over into other 
other areas of your game. Even somebody like Patrick Beverly was a great offensive player in high school. So for Bronny and people to say that this dude is just a playmaker or just a defensive guy, at the end of the day, you got to be able to score in high school. There is no doubt. And especially moving forward to the next level. But of course, he is not worried about moving forward because you guys know this dude has had probably an offer since he was in about eighth grade, I believe. And he's not worried about going to college. That's most likely where he's going to go. But in this case, I think it's being ready for the college level and actually getting that type of PT and being a bucket, being able to go out there and get playing time on the court. And I think these are small things that he's going to need to adjust in high school to be able to be successful at the next level. Now, some people are saying the fact and they want to call it right away that Bronny is not the player people thought he would develop into. Now, personally, I think it's a tough statement and it's really tough to put on because number one, this dude seems like he's always coming off of an injury. Now, in that case, if you are coming off of an injury, right, we have to give you some type of slack. But I feel like there's almost always an excuse as to why Bronny isn't playing his best. Maybe it's his teammates. Maybe he needs to develop more. He's injured. I feel like most fans always continue to make some type of excuse for him. And at the end of the day, never want to put it down and just say he might not be that good of a player. Now, definitely, I can't say that he's not that good of a player because we've seen glimpses here and there, but it definitely is hard to continue to have this type of optimism with his game. When again, we've seen this and been proven over and over again that he just doesn't sometimes have that aggression and that drive on the court. And whenever we talk about motivating factors, of course, people like to point to his father as well. You guys know Braun was homeless at one point and he had a way different motivation factor to be able to play the game of basketball and make it out of a situation where somebody like Bronny or even Zaire Wade, they have different types of motivation. And it doesn't mean that it's bad, but you have to find somewhere within yourself to just have that hunger to go out there and make it happen. And sometimes, man, I think this can hinder Bronny because sometimes he may not have the same type of drive that Bron once had. Now, some people like to go back and forth on this statement, man. And some people want to go as even far as calling Bronny a role player on the team. But personally, maybe if you want to say not in the first game, but I think the two games that he most recently played, this dude somewhat looked like a role player. I think, again, it's going to take a lot of improvement for him to really go out there and change what's going on with his situation. Now, number one, a lot of people have said this dude is going to be the best player in the country by the time he's a senior. And man, I don't know. Personally, I thought maybe it was Amari Bailey scoring the basketball that didn't really give an opportunity for Bronny to put it up there. But as soon as he's injured and now I still don't see Bronny getting that aggression and trying to score the ball a little bit more and his team, of course, lost in one of those games. Man, I am not sure. I think it's definitely a tricky situation. I want to have that optimism because, again, we've seen glimpses of when this dude can be that guy on the court. But I think it's going to take a lot of convincing and a lot of change to his game. And really, it's more of his overall mindset. This dude has the talent, but it's just the drive, the aggression and the mindset that you're going to want to go after, go on the court and get it and make it happen happen regardless of what's going on, what situation you're in. And once he develops that, I think this dude will be fine. But until then, I think a lot of people are still going to criticize again that his last name, he's just the son of an NBA player. And that's the reason why he has everything he has in the game of basketball, his rankings, his offers. And number two, he's overrated, man. You're going to hear it more and more often until he can silence these haters and be able to change. Now, hopefully he can make that change. You guys let me know what you thought about his game in the comment section down below. Man, it was super interesting to watch him play and hopefully this dude can really go out there, step it up, and hopefully he can get healed and be 100% healthy with his entire injury. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Selling each and them out.